As the market moves to value and Walmart is tanking, is this dodgy blue chip a buy? What's up my Milk Money Millionaires? I'm Joshua, welcome to my channel where we learn how to make our money, make more money. If you want to learn how to get wealthy in the Milk Money way, then please like and subscribe. As always remember, I'm a YouTuber, not a financial advisor. I just like making these videos for edutainment purposes. Invest at your own risk. So after a disappointing earnings report with weaker than expected guidance going forward, Walmart started to dip. And then with this tech wreck, it started to plummet. So is this a buying opportunity or will we see a better one in the future? I have never really liked retail. And with Walmart being such a huge mega cap, I never really expected them to have much growth. So I have kind of stayed away from them for a long time. But with some aggressive reimagining of their business, I'm starting to see Walmart as returning to some steady growth that will make them a nice, safe, solid buy and hold with a quality dividend. So Walmart's PE was surprisingly high for a mega cap retailer, reaching the high 20s, partly due to the pandemic play and some possible tech valuation bump with Walmart.com. Now with inflationary fears readjusting PEs, Walmart is going down too. And I'm thinking if it continues, we could have a great opportunity. I also suspect that inflation fears would hurt Walmart as they are a very low margin business and they might struggle to pass on rising costs initially to their customer. However, I think with Walmart's giant buy scale and their ability to demand pricing flexibility, they can weather the storm better than smaller retailers. And if inflation causes people to be more price sensitive initially, they might decide to buy more at Walmart versus other retailers. But that's just a hunch, as I'm sure that's how I'm going to behave. Biggest reasons I am bullish with Walmart are its Walmart Plus and its continued focus on vertical integration to make more money per store across its giant network of stores. So far, Amazon really has been in a league of its own without any competition. However, if anyone has a chance to remotely compete, it's Walmart. With its giant network of stores and distribution centers already built, they have the ability for same-day delivery even better than Amazon. In the past, I was a bear on Walmart.com because I found their website clunky and my first order was defective. And so I kind of gave up using them after my first try. However, after being upset with Amazon recently, we decided to give Walmart.com a try and were pleasantly surprised at how much better it was than before and how close it is to the Amazon experience. There have been a few hiccups with the site and one order that took too long, but other than that, we have been very happy with how quickly we can get basic household items delivered many times the same day as they're needed. Online is Walmart's fastest growing segment with plenty of room to run as it's only 7% of Walmart's total revenue. I really think this segment can pick up steam in the coming years. Therefore, increasing Walmart's earnings and justifying a higher than industry average PE. I read this week that Walmart hired two Goldman Sachs bankers to help run a fintech venture. They haven't really talked much about it, but that could be very promising. This news and layer of business is not priced into the stock yet. If they decide to become the bank of the unbanked, I think they can add a very strong new layer of revenue on its wide network of stores and huge army of customers. Seeing this reminded me of Walmart's main bull case, of its vertical integration. Let's face it, they can't really grow their store footprint, being that they are already everywhere. Delivery and pickup might help improve grocery sales, but their growth here should be slothy as well. But what they can do is add new services and stores within a store, so to speak, to quickly increase revenue from the same loyal customers they already have. They've been expanding rapidly into their goal of being a primary healthcare space for a large amount of underserved segments of our population. And my store is almost done building out its medical center, for instance. Add a bank to the mix and I could see strong increase in same store revenue in the coming year. I almost imagine Walmart being the real world Amazon. With Amazon, we kind of have come to get used to doing so much with them. We buy our food, household supplies, watch movies, host your website, download audiobooks, etc. With Walmart, you can kind of have good delivery or just go to the everything store. Drop your fan off for an oil change at the auto center. While you wait, visit the clinic to check out that sore throat grab your prescriptions, cash your checks so you could buy some chicken soup, and maybe even a present for your kid's birthday. The strong, resilient grocery segment is probably going to grow slower than molasses. However, that huge base of customers that's visiting every week now has more stuff to spend money on, especially if the medical and banking take off. I will be very bullish on Walmart, being able to surprise with some slow, steady growth over the next 10 years. Now for the bear case. So what is bearish about Walmart? Well, quite frankly, it's Walmart. For a lot of the country, a lot of people, Walmart has a weaker brand. For instance, my wife never wants to shop there. My store used to be a little bit dirty and they never had good selection. And without fail, they had 100 registers and two of them would be open. And I'd always be waiting in line to cash out. However, as of late, mine has been remodeled and they are trading out those aisles for more retail space and self-serve and the service has been better as of late. With rising their employees' compensation, maybe we can maintain a better service, albeit at a higher cost. 
which could also add to the bear case. Also, Amazon is just so big and so dominant that it just might be too little too late. Amazon just might continually crushing everyone resist the upswell of walmart.com by further improving their own service, their own network, and their own selection. And it's retail. Retail is always tough with razor thin margins, especially in an inflationary environment. Sam's Club, one of Walmart's main brands, is well behind its competitor Costco in sales, profitability, and brand loyalty. Okay, so into the valuation. It's definitely a great company. You can't really go wrong with Walmart long term, but being a slower grower, you definitely don't want to overpay. So let's look at some valuations. Its current PE is 27, much higher than you would expect for a giant blue chip like this. And it's much higher than the retail average, closer to 15, and it's higher than its typical PE. If we were to price it at 15, let's say, which I think is low considering its online sales, we would get around a $90 a share, which would be my floor for this stock. That's definitely a load up price. Morningstar's analysts think a forward PE of 22 is fair, which gives us a fair value estimate by their standards of $124 a share, which means it's currently fairly valued. If we were to replace them at a 2% dividend yield, that would be at 110. I think 110 would be an amazing price to get that yield. I feel it's safe to buy Walmart under 20, but being that its price is in a strong downtrend, I'm going to watch and see how low it can go. If it breaks 120 or 110, I'm definitely going to start selling puts and definitely be watching it closely to be starting a position. Under 100, loading up. So anyway, what do you guys think? Is the valuation way off? Do you believe in its growth potential or is Walmart dead money? Let me know in the comments below. And in the meantime, like that smash button and subscribe for more stock picks to come. Again, I'm Joshua. Thanks so much for watching Milk Money. See you in the next video. Peace.